What's up guys, my name is Adapt and welcome back to another video on the channel. So guys, in today's video what we are going to be doing is we're going to be looking at Fuji's custom tactics and player instructions. So guys, you guys have seen the team so many times already, I'm going to take you guys through it again. You guys can just look through if you haven't already, if you're new around here, then here is my main team. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be taking you guys through the custom tactics and the player instructions. So we've got a solid team right there. It's not bad at all, but it's not amazing compared to the other teams I've seen, the other teams I've come up against. So we're going to get into the custom tactics and the player instructions now, and I'll be right back. Now, he doesn't use the 4-5-1. I only started like that just for the chemistry. But the formation he does use is the 4 3 2 1. I was surprised by this. A lot of people use the 4 2 3 1 formation. So when I saw 4 3 2 1, I thought it would be a bit suspect. I didn't think it would be that great, but you guys are going to see how good or bad it was in the gameplay. So for defensive style, he uses drop back, 4 bars of width, and 2 bars of depth. Then for offensive style, he uses fast build up. Width, he's got 3 bars away from the max. Players in the box, he's got it 5 bars away from the max. And for corners and free kicks, he has them both on 3 bars. Now getting into his player instructions, on both his fullbacks he uses stay back while attacking. On his middle centre mid, stay back while attacking cover centre. He said that cover centre is very important in this formation for his central centre mid. On his right centre mid, he has get forward and that's it. And on his left centre mid, he hasn't done anything to him. But he's got his middle centre mid on cover centre. That's something to look at and stay back while attacking. Meaning this player is going to be the more defensive player. And then you've got your attacking midfielder in this role. Getting forward and helping out your attack. Now getting into the left forward role, we have Neymar here. Now on his left forward, he has getting behind. That's it. And on his right forward, he has getting behind as well. That's all he's on. It's nothing too complicated. Located. And on his striker, he has getting behind and stay forward. I'm not actually sure, guys. I think these might be my player instructions, but the formation and the tactics are his. But what I think I did was I think I took the player instructions from my 4-3-2-1 formation review video. Now, why I did that was because he didn't show any player instructions for this formation. So he showed the tactics and all of that. But I didn't show any player instructions. So you guys can take these player instructions with a pinch of salt. Because they're not his player instructions. But these are the player instructions I use. But the custom tactics are definitely his. He's definitely used these custom tactics. And he's used the formation as well. So guys, those are the custom tactics. Those are the player instructions. That's the formation Fuji uses. Now let's get into the gameplay. Now getting into the gameplay guys. First team we come up against, there's a Player of the Month Mane in there. There was a few Champions League cards in there as well. I think there was some Ajax cards in there, some Ajax players. I'm not 100% sure, but we're in the first minute here and we do manage to get a goal. So we score early on in this game and I think we are still going for foot swap players in this video. So that's why we are in online single matches. EA have just released some new cards in the weekly objectives as well so there's team of the season cards in there and i am looking very forward to going ahead and completing them so some of them you need to play in rivals some of them you must go in online single matches there's a team of the season you can get i believe from assists in squad battles something like that so i am going to be Hopefully doing that as well. So I might bring you guys some gameplay in squad battles. I'll be playing a higher difficulty though. And I might get some videos out for you guys. But it will be in squad battles instead of online single matches. Or foot division rivals or even foot champions. So we are in a game here. I believe we take the 1-0 lead with Ronaldo. Now in the 66th minute. 
nothing much really happened in the game in some games quite a lot happens but in other games it doesn't happen and you guys only see the goals i don't want the video to be too long so i only show you guys goals i score and i've started showing you guys the goals my opposition score as well so we're winning one nil i believe we got a rage quit in the last game you're getting a lot of rage quits in online single matches people just want to play for them cards and if they think they're not gonna be able to get a result out of the game most of them just back out so i came up against a very decent premier league team when i say decent i mean decent for me because the team wasn't that good it was in my favor a lot i had a clear advantage to this guy's team fernandinho ronaldo and mbappe on the ball mbappe plays it to ronaldo this guy gets caught on the ball i get the ball back a bit of scrappy play sometimes you get that bit of scrappy play but i find a key pass and i make it 2-0 in the fifth minute this guy goes ahead and pauses it is he going to rage quit? I'm not sure, but he actually stays in, guys. So 2-0 early on. I think we go ahead and make it free right here. De Bruyne on the ball. De Bruyne plays it again, and we're just going to pass it across and get that goal, guys. Some of you guys might look down upon the pass across the box, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You have to secure that win, especially with how competitive FIFA's become. Everyone just literally wants to score any way they can. It's become like that, especially in foot champions as well. Now, I concede early on in this game in the third minute here. And he scores with flashback David V. I don't come up against that card enough. I don't come up against him as frequently as expected, guys. If people are going to use a flashback card, most of them end up using something like Ibrahimovic, Fernando Torres, something like that. Especially for a striker. But we do go ahead and this guy rage quits in the game. And we get into the next game. So you go after game after game. This guy had a very good team. Had some icons in there. Eusebio. I think he had end of an era Robin in there as well. So he had a very good team. We find ourselves on the ball. And we make it 1-0 with Wijnaldum. Now what I was doing here was I needed goals with Dutch players in division rivals. So this gameplay is in division rivals. So what I do is I start off with pretty much a full Dutch team. I had a couple of players who weren't Dutch in the team. And what I do is I get the first goal. And then most of the time I would bring on three subs. And I just play the rest of the game like that. Because in Div Rivals it's going to be quite difficult. So we managed to win the game 2-1 there. And I come up against some great teams. This guy has some red cards in there. And we managed to take the lead early on. We make it 1-0. And I believe we do go ahead and make it 2-0. When Alden with a pass. Promise on the ball. Promise puts it into the back of the net. And we make it 2-0 in the 19th minute. Now we're on the ball again. Ronaldo gets the ball. Neymar's on the ball. Neymar is going to lose his man. He's going to pass it across to Promise. Promise plays it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo hits the bar, I think. I didn't quite see that right there. But Neymar manages to get a rebound and put it into the back of the net. So it's 3-0 here. We've run away with the game at this point. Neymar's on the ball. Plays it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is going to go ahead and beat his man. This guy literally gave up at this point. He was just slide tackling everywhere. He lost his composure, he was being rash, and we managed to win the game 4-0. So getting into the next game, this guy's a flashback Huntelor, and he has a prime icon moments, Dennis Bergkamp. I wish I was like one of them people. He just has the Dutch players when he needs the Dutch players. Fortunately for him in the squad, he already had that prime icon moments, Bergkamp and flashback Huntelor, who are two very good Dutch strikers, which would help him with the objectives a lot. But we do make it 1-0. Then we go ahead and make it 2 with Promise. Now getting into half time. We're 2-0 up. And this guy is going to get a goal back from a set piece. Most of the goals I'm conceding guys are from set pieces. Some corners are literally unstoppable. No matter how hard you try and mark players. You're still going to find that you'll concede goals from time to time in corners. And you just can't do anything about it. This guy forms a bit of a comeback. But we make it 3-2 in the 74th minute and i do believe this guy rage quits and we win the game so guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel down below and i'll see you guys in the next video see you guys later peace